All right, folks. No pithy sayings in this one either. Well, actually, you're seeing this one first, so it doesn't matter. So uh, there are no pithy sayings to start off this episode because I've just got so much to say, so much exciting stuff is going on. I'm Zach Silly Goose's Inc., and you're watching Let's Play Together Alter Ego Female. With me today, I have my regular guest on this program. Phoenix Tsukino! And with me, I also have a special guest star from the male version of this Let's Play. Hello, this is Sestino. So, we have now finished Alter Ego Male, and uh, yeah, now we're recording Alter Ego Female. Hopefully this one will last a little bit longer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I am the advisor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oops. There we go. All right. Uh, what happened last time? I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. Um, I think you had sex with a bunch of men. Wow. That's what? dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that happened. You got married to Rick. Ugh, right. Which is entirely your fault. Oh, and by the way, David, uh, David has chastised me for, um, not including any Rickrolled jokes. But, no, I'm not gonna do that, because <laughs> I'm better than that. I'm sticking with the Ric Flair thing. It's slightly more obscure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Alright, so let's get going on this. These first few are going to seem pretty familiar to us, I think, but now Phoenix will be making the final call on these. Alright, <laughs> wow, this one seems really familiar. A young man walks up to you in the park and looks you square in the eye. Have you got a dime, he says. You can be generous or suspicious. SCTW, what's your advice? Um, yeah. Uh, if you ask me, I would like you to go up to him, and I wouldn't do, um, I would, let's try the other one, I think you should do, I mean, like, I think you should do the other one, because I did, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with generous. Okay, so you're gonna give him the dime. Yep. You reach down into your change purse and slowly sort through the loose change. It's getting hard to discriminate the sizes and shapes of the coins these days. <laughs> you finally find one that feels like a dime. You reach out and hand it to the young man who looks quizzically at you. Who looks at you quizzically, sorry. The time! The time! He keeps saying. Your hearing is beginning to go. <laughs> <laughs> Got the timer out specifically for this episode, forgot to start it. Oh well, it's only going to be a few minutes late. Alright, at a family gathering, you notice a table with some sweet, uh, cord, uh, sweet cordial? Cord cordials? I... Hmm. Never heard of those before. Guess it's because I don't go to many family gatherings. Uh, you think <laughs> it might be a good idea to go over and sample some of them. Maybe loosen up and enjoy the party a bit. Alright, you can uh, sample the co cordials? I don't... or not. It sounds like an alcohol because it said loosen up. Alright, you can sample the booze or not. <gasps> no kidding! Um, I think you should uh, sample the booze because... <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> you can never trust people, you know. <laughs> I think. What? I think. What? I think we need to see Phoenix get wet and wild. That's my. Um, <laughs> that's my <clears throat> advice. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <wild>. No. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. She has to be that. I mean, like, oh, that is my advice. All right. So, Phoenix. I. I guess. All right. <laughs> you, are, well. you are feeling pretty loose now, and a jazzy record is playing in the background. <laughs> Will you do your famous belly dance? <laughs> <laughs> You're old. <laughs> 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 or just let yourself have a good time. SETW, you want to see old Phoenix do a uh, belly dance? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I want to see her belly dance. All right. Or, or if I can wear sunglasses so I can like <laughs> hide my face. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. I I'll watch that. <laughs> All right, Phoenix. Um, I'm gonna go with just have a good time. All I right. might break something. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, people gossip about you even though you are just having a good time. They tell you a woman your age should be quiet and reserved. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then I bitch slapped everybody. You can? It's enjoyable. Oh. This game is sexist. Look, this is exactly like the motorcycle one, and the. I mean, you have the two options here, but you can tell them age is simply a state of mind or. You can just tell them to stuff it. You can't actually give them the finger. Because <laughs> mm. ladies don't do that. Stuff it? <laughs> what, that's like that's like what my grandmother would say when she wants to curse. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, I would advise you to be like a little like a sheep, uh, sheep uh, girl, you know, sheep uh, woman. A <laughs> sheep girl? <laughs> <laughs> I advise that too, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> and just like say it, uh, scream it out, you know. So like, go and stuff it, you people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my advice. <laughs> I agree. I refuse to be quote unquote reserved. So you're gonna tell them this to stuff it. This is the 1920s. So you're gonna <laughs> tell them to stuff, stuff it. it. All right. Although apparently it is the 1920s, but I'm telling well, them to actually, stuff it. Well, actually, actually, to be fair. You're like, what, 60 now? This game was made in 1980, so when you grew up, it was the 20s. So these people all grew up during the 20s. That's why they're still in that mindset. It's the 80s now. You are quite a character. You didn't flip them off, though, because you're a wuss. No, this game is sexist. It's like, you can't flip them off, you're a girl. What the hell is this anime game? Alright. Oh, no. You are very bored. Hey. Oh no! <laughs> and the weather outside is just a bit nippy. Mm. You think that you would like to treat yourself to a small but refreshing shopping spree? Of course. The idea seems like a worthwhile way of getting exercise. Okay, so when men want exercise, what they do? You know, they go out, they play sports. You know, baseball. You know, you run around the bases, you hit the thing. You know, exercise. When women want exercise, they go shopping. Exactly. Yeah, that's exercise. <laughs> it's not! Play a sport. Yeah, no, women don't play softball. There are no women's softball leagues. That's just stupid. Okay. No, I'm serious. This game is really misogynist. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Uh, but wasn't it made in the 80s? As a... Um, yeah. But you think it would be uh, that way? Still? Like... Uh, Women could, like, vote in the 80s, you know what I'm saying? It's not like <laughs> the 80s was some far-flung era. Oh, okay, right. okay. Uh, the idea seems like a worthwhile way of getting exercise. Although you live quite a distance from the store, the walk should get your blood moving. You can be excited or bored. Basically, you can go shopping or not. Excited. I think... Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, Stein Eric, you go first. Give your advice. Okay. See if it changes Hank's uh -huh. mind. I think you should let's just go for it, girl. I mean, like, just, like, go there and buy everything to be happy, you know? Stein Eric will go with you. <laughs> He'll go shopping. <laughs> go for well, it, girlfriend. Then... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, yeah. Um, it's your choice, so... All right. Okay, what would you like to go shopping for? Before I give the answers, Steiner, just in general, what do you think Phoenix should go shopping for? Uh, some makeup. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, maybe some makeup because this we're so old. Well. <laughs> this is when Phoenix should go. <laughs> what are you implying, Steiner? <laughs> More makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> All right. That was kind of mean, but yeah. All right. So, Phoenix, uh, let's uh, let's go through. Uh, you can get new clothes, plants, presents for friends, or whatever strikes your fancy. Whatever strikes my fancy. What are you going to buy? I don't know. 
<laughs> Whatever I see that strikes my fancy. Hmm. Like a Twilight awesome. the board game? <laughs> <laughs> no, that struck your fancy. <laughs> Yeah, I did, actually. Uh, that's the spirit. I'm sure you will be quite pleased with whatever you purchase. On the way to the awesome. store, you feel yourself alternating between feeling refreshed from the cool outside air and dizzy. Oh, yeah. Maybe this won't last that long. You stop and rest every few minutes, regaining your composure, then move along. The last thing you remember is a crowd of people gathering around you oh, on a gosh. street corner. <laughs> I died. I am not kidding. For some reason, you are looking up into the sky. It is clear and bright and blue. You feel very peaceful. How nice it would have been if you could have said goodbye. What? Wow. Seriously, did she die? <laughs> Women are so to... weak that cold air will kill them. Dead. Oh. Damn. No. You I lasted a shorter amount of time than Stein Eric. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is gonna come last. <laughs> I thought you'd at least at least leave, like go two episodes, but no. Just, just, oh, walking to the store, your blood vessel, your heart pops like a balloon being filled up with a tire inflator. <laughs> Proof that blood this vessels are popping in your head. Get to the store without dying, you weak female. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was sad. All right. Well, <laughs> let's uh, let's look at the final episode. Uh, sort of what you see as you were dying, I guess, on the sidewalk. All right. <laughs> After a long but very relaxing day, with a deep sigh, you climb into bed and sink into the warm, cushy fabric of the sidewalk. <laughs> As you drift off, feelings of intense serenity and well-being overwhelm you. Pleasant images of childhood visits with sweet memories of mom and dad, school, and growing up. The memories flash by your mind's eye with startling reality. The smell of school on your first day, the flowers your first boyfriend bought you on your first date. You recall places you haven't visited for years in picture-perfect detail. Friends and neighbors who have gone on greet you. They are filled with excitement to see you, though you soon realize they are not communicating their joy in words. It's almost as if this will go on forever. Alright, folks. That's been it for Alter Ego Female and Alter Ego in general. This that was is, really fast. Uh, <laughs> this has been it. I, uh... That's quite a... It's been quite a ride, guys. <laughs> I don't know any two bastards I'd rather have taken it with. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, their lives are over. They died. Stein Eric ran into a tree and exploded. Uh, Phoenix walked to the store and her heart exploded. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. So, um... Yeah. It's kind of sad, really. But, oh well. So, I've been it. Uh, I've been it. <laughs> I've been it, folks! See you later! <laughs> wow. I've been Zach Hail. Silly Goose's Inc., and this has been Let's Play Together Alter Ego Female. Uh, with me throughout the entire uh, uh, series, I have had... Phoenix and joining me from for just this episode, I have had. ICT loved me. Hello. Oh, no. So, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so I, when you say goodbye, I say hello. All right. And uh, so I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Kiss, kiss. Yeah. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. All right. Wait. Do you guys want me to give you one more like pithy saying? before we finish uh, this completely yeah okay um, but I have to go to eat but um, well I'll just give you one more saying and then we can go you can go eat and all okay. right <clears throat> but you guys have to try and decide where it's from I'll let you go guys work together on this all right <clears throat> how, how long is it going to take like a minute all right oh. life is but a walking shadow a poor player who struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, 
signifying nothing. So, who wrote that? I think it's Shakespeare. Uh, Shakespeare. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's excellent. Yeah. Now, wow, awesome. now comes the hard part. It was said by the titular character of what play? Uh, Hamlet. Yeah. No, not Hamlet. Phoenix, what's your guess? What? What is that what? one? What? Starts with O. Uh, are you Wait, thinking Othello? of Othello? Yeah. No, unfortunately, it's not from Othello either. It is from Macbeth. Oh, balls. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was uh, hard. <laughs> All right. So that's it. And okay, one more quote for the road. <laughs> this is sex. But I have no place for it in my life now. All right, uh, who said that one? I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> can I say it first? Okay, you go first. Um, I think it is from Silent Hill, uh, Shadow's Memories. Not quite. Phoenix? Uh, you should know this uh, one. I don't. It's Lieutenant Worf from Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> That's been it. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Kiss, kiss. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, now we're recording Alter Ego Female. Hopefully, this one will last a little bit longer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I am the advisor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oops. There we go. All right. Uh, what happened last time? <laughs> I need to gay. I have my regular guest on this program. Phoenix Tsukino. And with me, I also have a special guest star from the male version of this Let's Play. Hello, this is Steve Oakley. So, we have now finished Alter Ego Male, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Um, I think you had sex with a bunch of men. Wow, that's what? dirty. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that happened. You got married to Rick. Ugh, right. Which is entirely your fault. Oh, and by the way, David, uh, David has chastised me for, um, not including any Rickrolled jokes. But, no, I'm not gonna do that because <laughs> I'm better than that. I'm sticking with the Ric Flair thing. It's slightly more obscure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. All right. So, let's get going on. All right, folks. No pithy sayings in this one either. Well, actually, you're seeing this one first, so it doesn't matter. So, uh, there are no pithy sayings to start off this episode because I've just got so much to say, so much exciting stuff is going on. I'm Zach Silly Goose Inc., and you're watching Let's Play Together Alter Ego Female with